Hi, I'm Abby with the Elkins Randolph County Public Library. Uh, and I'm here to talk to parents today about series, not a particular series, but just the beauty of getting your child to uh, become interested in a series and what it can do for their reading. Um, so I'm going to talk about a personal experience because when I was in first grade, um, I was actually behind on learning how to read. I was behind my peers. Uh, and so by the time I got to second grade, I had a teacher that really took an interest in that and she started giving me books and books and books. Um, and I still struggled. And then she gave me a series called the boxcar children. And I got really into this series and I started reading and my reading improved. And then I got into another series, the animorphs. And I read all of those books as they came out. And by the time second grade was over, I was uh, well ahead of most of the other most of my other classmates just because I got excited about a book series um, so I'm gonna point out a few series that we have here at our collections that might help get your elementary school and middle school readers in more into reading in their free time all right so this first recommendation are for those who love images because they're graphic novels. Um, so the first is a series called Dogman by Dav Pilkey. Um, this is the same guy who came out with Captain Underpants. He's hilarious. And as you can see, there's not that much text and there are a lot of pictures to keep um, a reader's interest. The other is The Bad Guys, again, Great graphic novel, very funny, uh, a good way to get someone into reading. And there, I think we have at least 10 or more of these books on our shelves. All right. Um, so for the readers who are not into fiction, who are way more into fact and biographies and history, we have this series. Um, it's called Who Was, and this one's Who Was Ida B. Wells. Um, there are also What Was, like, what was the civil rights movement? And um, this is one series that we regularly order and we have dozens and dozens of books in this series for the child that loves nonfiction. Uh, a classic, The Magic Tree House. It's about a magic tree house that takes kids back in time. This is a great early reader. So I was talking about reading Boxcar Children in second grade, first grade, second grade. This is a great reader to get kids beyond picture books. All right, so here's a series I haven't read, but I know I loved in middle school the series by Brian Jocks, Redwall. It's all about animals who live in this medieval kingdom. Warriors is, is about animals who go through all kinds of adventures. Um, and there are so many of these. If your child gets into this series, they will be reading a lot. Um, again, for people interested in history, there's the Dear America series. This takes the form of diary entries and it jumps around to different time periods. So this is the di diary of Claudia, slave girl. So it'll be um, during the slave era in the United States, but there are others uh, during World War II or the Civil Rights Movement or the Revolutionary War, um, as well as events, um, notable events abroad, although it does focus on America. <laughs> for older readers, I liked R.L. Stein a lot as a child, or for those readers who love creepy crawly things and uh, getting the chills. So the Goosebumps is a great series. It's been around, it's tried and true. It's been around for a while and kids still love it. These are definitely for slightly more mature readers, even though they're, uh, so they are in the juvenile section. We have Lemony Snicket's, a series on, of unfortunate events. Um, and well, that's what it is. Very unfortunate things happening to uh, very um, admirable orphans. So you have to have a dark side to enjoy this series, but it is very enjoyable and very funny. And I don't know if there's anyone who hasn't heard of JK Rowling's Harry Potter, but yes, it is a great read. I just read the whole series a couple years ago as an adult. Um, as you get into the later books, there are some very sad events. Um, 
And when you read a series, you get really into characters. So if a character dies, it can be really saddening for children. Um, so you might want to be aware that in the fourth book and beyond, you start to see some important characters die. So be prepared to have that discussion with children if they're reading this series. All right, so that's just some of the series that we have. Uh, hopefully one day you and your children will be back in here browsing our stacks and uh, figuring out what you're going to read. Uh, with enjoyment and passion. All right, well, for now, I'm going to sign off uh, and enjoy this wonderful spring weather.